Hello, welcome back. Welcome to my kitchen. Come in, sit down, and let me cook for you. I'm Tom, the Sunday Dinner Chef. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be doing some surf and turf. Now, this was started, they say, at the 1962 World's Fair. Now, that's going back a ways. Uh, I even went to the World's Fair when I was a kid. So this is damn near as old as I am. Now, in the beginning, okay, it started out with shrimp and, and uh, beef. Now, it has become a very expensive dish with uh, filet mignon, lobster tail. Uh, but basically, it was done with, with shrimp. Now, back in the day, shrimp was actually more expensive than lobster. So go figure that one out. So, okay, this is going to be my version of the great surf and turf. Well, today we're going to be using some New York strip steak. Okay, this is a, a real fine cut of meat. I like this a lot. And also I'm going to be using some shrimp. Now these shrimp are on a smaller size. Uh, that's just what I had on hand. But now normally you would use lobster tail and or a filet mignon uh, or a large big lagostine shrimp, real big shrimp. But I am using this. This is basically how it started. Now I got to say, Lowell, Massachusetts lays claim to fame that they actually started doing this dish way before the 1962 World's Fair. So, well, anyway, that's that's up for uh, debate. But All right, a little Tommy Spice on here. Also, I'm going to be uh, Tommy Spicing up the shrimp. Now, the shrimp are uh, peeled, deveined, okay? And I'm going to, I split them open just a little bit just to uh, make them cook a little bit faster. So, as you can see here, I'm going to take them and just open them up a little bit. They'll puff. Uh, makes for easy cooking real quick. Into the pan, I have a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put a little Tommy spice in it. And we're going to roll from there. Now, over the years, this dish has evolved. I mean, it, I, I've seen uh, hamburger patties with uh, with some shrimp or codfish, okay, and they're calling it surf and turf, which is fine. I mean, <laughs> you know, who am I to say anything? But I cooked many, many of these throughout the years. And it was always with uh, lobster tail and uh, filet mignon. Now, in the beginning, when they first started, back, back in the old days, a uh, nice big piece of filet mignon. It's probably like an eight ounce piece of filet mignon and twin lobster tails. Sometimes it was a struggle to get through, but uh, yeah, it has changed. This is actually a really good dish. Now, into the pan, I'm going to throw some butter, okay, and a little bit of olive oil with that. I'm going to drop these shrimp in. Now, this is not going to take long. Also, I'm going to be putting in some chopped garlic uh, with the butter. And also, I'm going to be adding in some lemon juice. So this, not really a sauce, but it's going to uh, let the shrimp taste like uh, lemon, butter, and garlic. Okay, now we're going to bring this all together. Garlic's in there, butter's in there, a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to add in some lemon juice. Okay, now this is this is actually going to take the fond off the bottom of the pan, but it's going to the shrimp is going to just going to pop with that lemon, garlic, and butter flavor.
Okay, shrimp are done. Uh, we're gonna start plating this. So, steaks to the plate. Now I'm gonna start adding some butter to it just to give that finish a little bit more of a, uh, just, just combines everything together. I love butter. Now, like always, putting the essence on makes it look much, much nicer. Now, back in the day, they used to take a tomato and, and, and peel the skin off and make it look like a rose and then set it on some. The, the chefs back in the early 60s and into the 70s were all about uh, presence, what it looked like. You know, you ate with your eyes. Uh, I don't know what happened to that tradition. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, listen, I'm going to thank everybody for watching. I hope everybody's enjoying the series. Um, it, it's caught my attention. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of good stuff out there that I'm going to be making. Uh, and if you have any suggestions, like I said, please leave a comment below. Uh, and at this time, I would like to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you next Sunday. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, hey, welcome back to the 60s. I can't believe this was 62 years ago. Unbelievable. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Take care. We'll see you again.